I've ever seen in my life. They're saying that I didn't walk in Old Navy with my shirt on. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen now. I 
walked. I didn't even touch any of you guys' t-shirt. I walked into the store with my t-shirt on. Okay, so what if I keep the tags on my stuff? I always keep the tags on my stuff. Anybody who knows me, after this goes on social media, everybody who knows me knows I keep the tags on my shit. Where's the camera now? Where's Jill? She's upstairs. If you guys think I'm waiting long, you better think again. Where is the camera? Let's see what happens. And you laid right. your hand on me. I do not take well to people laying their hand on me, eh? Oh, I'm going to press charges against you. A civil suit. After this, I'm going to call my cousin who's a lawyer to come and get you. Hi. Yeah. I'm Jillian. I'm the store manager. Did you see me walk into the store with my top on? I apologize. I did not. I wasn't looking at my camera. So she said that she, you, you guys looked at the cameras and, and seen that I did not. Okay, if you want to give me a couple minutes. Okay, yeah. I don't have long, so hurry up. Okay. I have something to do. Okay. Thank you, oh, yeah, Jillian. Oh, that. guess what? The lady in America, the lady in America who profiled the other black guy, her name was Jillian, too. Wow. Okay. I apologize for the incident. And you know what? Tomorrow, this could have all been so easy. Don't, don't, don't okay. touch my okay. shit. I won't. Don't touch it. Tomorrow... All the stuff that I brought from Old Navy, I'm bringing it back. Everything, okay. including this green top that I had on. I bought, like, I'm bringing this shit that I have back. All this stuff, mm -hmm. I was bringing this back to get an exchange. But you want to know what? I didn't like the way I felt in here. I felt profiled. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go to another Old Navy. You know so let's see. Oh my God, I never thought this would happen to me. I am the perfect person for this to happen to. Hi! Woo! Okay, we're gonna see now. Go look at your cameras, cause she, she said in my video that she, you guys watch the cameras and you seen that I, uh, that I came in here. Oh, so I came in here with this top? That's what I came in here with? With this ugly under top? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? I understand. Okay, let's see what let's see what happened. Look at my purse. My purse has no wait. My purse? My purse has nothing in it. You see my Dara bag? This Dara? This Yo what up? I'm back. Yes, I'm about to get up and touch. Yes. Get a look at all the damn people that's around here, okay? Child by no, no ma'am. Yo, what up, family? How y'all doing? Yes, I am here to report the news. Okay, I don't have to fly my ass all the way up here to this old navy. This damn old navy up here in Canada. Okay, yes, this thing took place up in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada, and uh, this was a lady by the name of Lisa Cauldron. Now, what was going on here, family? Was Shit. She was up there pretty much, you know, going in the store to try to purchase some new things and also to make some exchanges while she was uh, then racially profiled or whatnot. It was at that moment right there where she decided to pretty much leave the store and take her business elsewhere and decide to find another Old Navy store after she had left the mall. Well, that didn't seem to go too well because, you know, we got motherfucking entitled ass bitches by the name of Stephanie, okay? Yes, yeah, Stephanie who decides to follow the woman outside of the store, which I'm pretty sure is against company policy and against just all-around customer service policy or whatnot. I don't know. I wouldn't be chasing nobody up out the store. Not for no shirt that costs $13, okay? Let me just say that right there, especially if that shit costs more than what the hell I'm probably making because I'm pretty sure Old Navy ain't paying you no more than about $8, $10 an hour or something like that. I'm sure they way past the seven twenty five mark, but you ain't up in the in the double-double digits like that right there because they ain't popping like that, okay? And judging by the looks of them motherfucking Ruth Smith Stephanie, yes, you ain't getting paid that much because them bitches ain't been touching at least a good six months, okay? So, you need your little old Navy job. But anywho, you decided to take your job and extend it beyond its, um, you know, 
paper duties or whatnot. Uh, I guess it's uh, up under the whole thing of any other thing else that's needed. That little segment they always leave on the job description. Um, but ma'am, this shit has actually backfired on you a little bit. But let's talk about it. Um, let me say this right here. Miss Stephanie, you started off wrong, like I said, by following the woman up out of the store. But then you, re you even got more wronger. That's not even a fucking word, but I'm going to use it. Wronger by grabbing her. And let me tell you, Miss Lisa, baby, Baby, I got to commend you because you held it down. You held your composure throughout this whole entire thing because this situation could have went completely left. But I understand, you know, and um, and the reason why I say I understand is because being a black person or whatever, we always have to hold ourselves in a um in a subtle manner because any type of uh, raising of the voice or anything like that or subtle movements, we are looked at as fucking aggressive. Uh, and that's just really not the case or whatnot. So that's why the security guards was right there um, and, and, and they was trying to de, uh, not really trying to de-escalate the situation, but they trying to figure out what was going on. Um, but I feel like they was kind of out of line as well, you know, and kind of being sarcastic about the situation because they probably looked at her ass as being guilty too or whatever. But y'all was wrong. Y'all should have instructed Stephanie to keep her motherfucking hands to herself because at that point, it was assault, okay? You assaulted this woman all over a $13 shirt that you thought that she came in the store and stole, because that's what the whole thing was. They felt like that she had came in the store uh, and she didn't have the shirt on initially. And, you know, the lady followed her out the damn store and stuff. Like I say, you shouldn't be approaching anybody unless you have ocular proof. Unless you have surveillance footage already schemed and scanned. Uh, and that way you can have the right person in the right situation and the right, you know, you know, the right culprit. But in this situation right here, I don't think that Miss Lisa um, has stole anything. She said that she was a frequent shopper of Old Navy. She had just bought over $200 worth of things just the day before, and she was coming to get some more stuff. Hell, maybe she got her damn income tax check. Maybe she just got fat paid or something like that. I don't know. Maybe she just wanted to look good and buy some stuff for her kids or whatever. All I know is this right here. The whole situation was just completely fucking uncalled for. And like I say, Miss Stephanie, baby, you would have got the dog walked on you, okay? It had it been the right sister that came up in there. But, you know, like I said before, we always have to maintain our composure because any little thing that we do, we can end up shot and dead or whatever. Hell, just down reaching for a, a damn pin out your purse or something like that or reaching in your pocket. Motherfucker down put 20 bullets up in you and be like, oh, he was threatening my life or whatever. That's the kind of society that we have uh, grown to live in that has just been formulating over the past hundreds of years or whatnot with the whole oppression of black people and slavery and things of that nature or whatever. Like I say, it's just a whole big hot steaming mess, okay? Um, so let me go ahead and get to the post that Miss Lisa took to Facebook and she kind of broke down the whole entire situation. So let me go ahead and get up into this right about now. So, here we go. Lisa writes, I was racially profiled in Old Navy at Square One Shopping Center today. I felt uncomfortable, so instead of exchanging my merchandise there and or buying a white dress I tried on, I decided to take my, uh, to go somewhere else. Even, uh, I even went as far as to voice my concern to a staff before leaving the store, which at this point would have, um, would have understood if she asked about my shirt. Well, apparently she didn't ask about the damn shirt or whatever because, hell, y'all wouldn't be sitting here dealing with this damn confrontation and things of that nature, okay? Um, so... Then when I, um, was in Browns looking for shoes, a staff by the name of Stephanie... She said that I was not, um, she said that I did not walk in the store with that top on, and they saw it on camera, and they had still, um, uh, it still had the price tag on it. When she proceeded to, uh, put her hands on me in front of security guards, Kesa, uh, Kesa the 108 those are the security guard, um, badge numbers. After getting very irate, they advised her to let go. I went back to the store, had to wait, after she already said she had previously seen the video, her manager, Gillian Pike, was uh, uh, then apologized and took my info after approximately 15 minutes and said they would get back to me um, with the district manager. Guys, I care. Uh, I cried because... I never thought in a million years I, uh, this would happen to me. I would have been more calm 
and understanding if she uh, didn't accuse me at first, of course she would have, okay? Of course she would have. And would have um, been happy to show my receipt, especially because I voiced my um, racial profile complaint to the employee before I left the store. This needs to stop. Stephanie had no right to aggressively lay her hands on me and accuse me of stealing a $13 top. And had she uh, done this, um, and had this, had she not done that, this situation would have been totally different. You know what, Miss Lisa, I totally agree with you. Um, the fact that you even went to the manager and voiced your concerns and things like that and nothing was done at that point in time, you know, the manager was all the way in the wrong, okay? The manager was all the way in the wrong. Now, Old Navy has taken to this situation. They have responded with a um, public post basically stating that... Um, you know, Old Navy was found to be a place where everyone belongs. It, um, it's been a part of our culture and value since day one and makes it even more upsetting when incidents occur that don't reflect our values. We are sorry to... Um, we are sorry that our customer Lisa Cauldron had unacceptable had an unacceptable experience. <laughs> Y'all know I can't fucking read shit. Had an unacceptable experience in one of the stores, and we apologize for letting her down. We investigated quickly and thoroughly. The employee involved in the situation is no longer employed. Okay, and then it goes on to say uh, pretty much how. Uh, it doesn't go with their values, and she doesn't meet the standard. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay, so you know y'all should have. That y'all was damn skippy for fire on her ass because she needed to be fired because this is one of those situations where she was pretty much racially profiling a black woman because she, you know, has this prejudice and things of that nature. You could just tell by the smug look on her damn face or whatnot. But let me just say this right here. Um, Miss Lisa, make sure you taking the tags off of your shirts before you go in the damn store because why? You're kind of setting yourself up for failure, especially if the tag is up under the arm or something like that. If it's not in the tag or whatnot, like, you need to, you know, make sure you popping them things before you go in the store because I can see how that could look like that you were uh, stealing or something like that. But, some, but, hell, it's something that we do all the motherfucking time, you know? Sometimes you might throw on a top or something like that and forget that it's a tag on there. I know I've done it. Hell, I done walked around with a new pair of jeans on and then realized it had the little side sticker, the little long strip on the back of my leg or whatnot till I got home at the end of the day and nobody decided to tell me. So I understand the situation, but at the end of the day, as an employee or whatnot, you need to keep your motherfucking ass in the store. You went way out of line, bitch, when you fucking uh, decided to go out of your store and to go into another store and harass a uh, customer that was up in your store previously. That You had no rights to do that. You should have reported that to your manager, and then she should have reported to the security guard and then let them approach the situation. That's how you handle that thing, okay, Miss Stephanie? But, bitch, I'm glad your ass ain't got no damn job. I hope you don't get no more other motherfucking retail jobs because clearly that is not the profession for your ass, okay? You need to be doing some flipping some burgers or something like that because why? You can't just be damn going, uh, accusing people whenever you damn well feel like it and stuff. And you probably the damn, uh, customer, I mean, not the customer, but the employee that Miss Lisa was talking about that she felt like that she was, you know discriminated against and racially profiled in the store. So, like I say, you have done more than enough, girl. And just know that we not here for your motherfucking fuck shit, okay? So, um, y'all let me know what y'all think about this situation. Just know that I'm over Miss Stephanie and, um, you know, I'm glad that Old Navy took to the situation and I think that Miss uh, Gillian, you need to be fired too. You need to be fired too because I didn't like the way your ass had came off whenever you was initially, uh, Asking the questions to Miss Lisa, okay? Because you came in a uh, in a in a, in a uh, faulty vibe, your damn self, like you was accusing her too, okay? And then you try to touch her stuff. I don't blame her. Don't touch my stuff. Don't touch my stuff, okay? Because that's personal property at that point in time. And I don't blame Miss Lisa too for saying that she was gonna bring back every single article of clothing that she had just bought the previous day. To get all that shit exchanged. And I would not be putting my motherfucking money back up into no damn Old Navy store. Hell, I ain't worn no motherfucking Old Navy in so long. It's been, it's crazy. But, you know, after this situation right here, I probably won't be patronizing you hoes. Okay? Because, you know, even though this is an isolated incident, you know, this right here just kind of, you know, 
uh, put a little wrinkle in how I really feel about Old Navy because I'm just not feeling it. I'm not feeling it, okay? Uh, but like I say, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the situation. That's just me talking, giving my little report and my opinion about it. Um, and like I say, I'll be back with some more motherfucking videos. Uh, if you have not hit the subscribe button, go ahead and hit that thing right now. Just know that I love you all. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>